Hello student. Here is one of the common case study we can find uh, in many sample paper for the exam 24-25 class 10. So the case study says a go golf ball is spherical with about 300 and 500 dimples and uh, for us it is given diameter of the ball is given 4.2 and it has 315 dimples you can see here clearly each dimple is hemispherical in shape okay hemispherical shape is also given over there radius 2 millimeter these radius hemispherical radius is given 2 millimeter we should find surface area of one such dimple so for this one such dimple means we can see here total surface area won't be there and because it is carved out from the golf ball you can see so if surface area is mentioned nothing is mentioned but we can easily observe that it is CSA only so CSA of dimple we can dimple means hemisphere okay so 2 pi r square so 2 into 22 by 7 and r we can take 2 so if you multiply 2 into 2 8 into 22 we will get so 22 and 8 will be 176 by 7 so we can divide this one 1 will come 7 into 1 then 3 will come so 7 into 4 so 25.14 millimeter square will be the surface area of one such dimple now for the second question volume of the material dug out to make one dimple volume of the material means volume of the hemisphere hai na? to make one dimple so volume of volume of hemisphere only we have to find volume of hemisphere that is the second question which is 2 by 3 pi r cube so 2 by 3 pi we will keep 22 by 7 r is given to us 2 into 2 so if you multiply again this will be 8 8 into 2 16 into 22 by 3 into 7 we will check 16 into 2 32 16 into 2 32 and 3 35 one by one we can cancel from the uh, 352 we can like uh, 3 from 3 we will divide 3 into 1 then uh, 2 will remain here 3 into 7 21 1 will remain 3 into 3 9 then this final answer we can divide from 7 so 7 into 1 we will take here 4 will remain so 7 into 6 we can take 5 will remain 7 into 7 we can take 49 so 4 will remain so into 6 we can take so final answer will be 6.76 that will be in which unit millimeter cube because we have not converted this to millimeter and we kept as it is so answer will be in millimeter cube because here it is not asked you write your answer in centimeter or millimeter okay Now for the question number 3, find the total surface area exposed to the surrounding. See for this, for this question clear picture is given in the second diagram. Exposed to the surrounding means this area we should find actually. Okay, your ball will be golf ball after carving the hem 315 dimple or we can say hemisphere it will look like this this is the area which will be exposed to the surrounding so what we can do in this case we will find total surface area of see total surface area when we will find it will be total surface area of golf ball with diameter 4.2 then we have to remove these circles these circles we have to remove so such how many circles we have to remove we have to remove 315 circle so what will be the total surface area surface area of 
sphere that will be our golf ball minus 315 area of circle we have to remove that circle area so instead of this circle what we should add we should add this csa hai na such how many csa of hemisphere we should add 315 dimple 315 we have to add so 315 csa of hemisphere we have to add okay so what we will do in this case sa of sphere means 4 pi r square i will take because for uh, golf ball is diameter is different radius is different here we can take uh, ac area of circle and area of csa of this hemisphere both will have same radius isn't it so we can get 315 pi r square and 315 into 2 pi r square isn't it so what we can do we can take 315 common and 2 pi r square minus pi r square we will get so finally we can subtract this we can subtract this and we will get so from the previous step we have 4 pi r square and minus 315 pi r square plus 315 into 2 pi r square so 4 pi r square we can take 3 315 common 2 pi r square minus pi r square we will get pi r square only okay so now pi also we can take common that then it will be easy 4r square plus 315 is small r square so 4 into r square means 2.1 square 315 now here we have to check because this diameter is given in centimeter this has to be also in centimeter so we will take 2 by 10 0.2 is square to 22 by 7 4 into 2.1 means 4.41, 315 into 0.04. So now we will multiply these two and then finally we will add. So for 17.64, for this we will multiply with 5, 4, 12.60. We can write which will be. 12.6 ultimately so 7.64 and 12.6 if we will add we will get 30.24 so 22 by 7 30.24 i'll write here so subtract no the we will divide here from 7 7 into 4 28 then 7 into 3 it will go 7 into 2 So 432 we will multiply with 22. So see this way we can easily multiply. We can write 22. Then no need to multiply again directly. Same numbers we can copy. So we are getting 95.04, and this time unit will be centimeter square. Okay. So this is all about the first bit. For the second bit, find the volume of the golf ball. Uh, 4 by 3 pi r cube formula can be used, and that can be done easily. So that is up to you. You can solve. And so I hope you understood the case study. Thank you. Thank you so much.